told you guys we was going to come right back with a video. I couldn't really make it right back. Had to fill on dinner. Too hot to cut on the oven in Detroit. So, y'all know what it is. It's Motor City Sports Talk. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Thank you for everybody that subscribed and watched the videos. I most definitely feel blessed to be able to be in the position to have a channel with over a thousand subs. And let's continue to keep it pushing. New, the new media wave and Detroit sports and media, man. But um, we was talking about the last video, if the Lions had enough pass rushing going in 2000. Um, 18 season, I said I don't think they have enough interior or on the outside, even though I believe that Matt Patricia's scheme will, will scheme up more pressures than we used to see. You know, Lions used to get it on the muscle just with their front four. So um, that was the philosophy of Jim Schwartz that kind of carried on a little bit with Terrell Austin. And then, you know, event, you know, now we're here. Uh, and I think the Lions, I seen a good article. I can't remember who, who, who wrote the article. I'm sorry. Um, but you know, they said that the Lions should consider trading for Dante Fowler. Uh, University of Florida, pass rush extraordinaire. He was the guy that tore his uh, ACL the first day of training camp back in 2015. 2016, he did straight. 2018, 17, uh, 17 he even did better. He doubled his sack from four, sack uh, total from four to eight. And I think he ready to blow, you know. He'd be on his fourth year in this deal. It, I think it's worth the risk for like a fourth or fifth round draft pick for this guy. This dude uh, is electric off the edge, and you'll be like, oh, if he's so electric, why does the Jaguars want to get rid of him? Because the Jaguars got to pay. You know, they pay Clays Campbell. I mean, they got a lot of different guys to pay. They, I mean, I think they got Miles Jack over there. They got, uh, you know, the Tevin the Tevin Smith guy. The Tev I can't remember his last name. The Tevin linebacker. They got to pay Jalen Ramsey. They pay A.G. Oboye. Um, they play, um, you know, Gibson, a safety from the, uh, uh, the Browns, I believe. You know, they paid a lot of different guys to come over there. And, and they paid another big fella that played in the middle of their defense, uh, Darius Miles. I, don't, I mean, uh, De uh, Marcel Darius, excuse me, <laughs> Darius Miles, where I get that from. But Marcel Darius, I don't know if they read up with him. They brought him over last year. Plus, they just played Blake Boreos. And, you know, so I think uh, they're not going to pay Dante Fowler, you know. That's too much money. And I think he's primed to to double his um, to almost double his, his sack total again. And I believe you put him with Ziggy Anza, that's going to be electric. And Kerry Hodder can spell either one. And Deshaun Hand can spell on the inside or outside. Those are the two acquisitions I like to see the Lions make. I like to see that. I love to see them get Dante Fowler. They love Florida Gators. Jerry Davis put them with Fowler and T's Tabor. I mean, that's electricity on three levels of the, of the defense. Front end with Fowler. The middle with Jerry Davis in the middle linebacker. And the linebacker position then in the back end with T's Tabor. So I, I would love for them to get uh, Dante Fowler. That's a that's a trade that I, I absolutely would love for them to explore, and also bringing on Jonathan Hankins, local product from Ohio State, and just played for the Colts last year. He got cut. I'm pretty sure he got some bonus money and all that left. Jonathan Hankins, right with Sylvester Williams and Ashawn Robinson, ain't nobody running through the middle on them, man. You don't worry about a Nada being gone because you got three Nadas right there, at least two Nadas, and Sylvester Williams, I think his name, coming from Tennessee. And Jonathan Hankins, I would love for them to acquire Jonathan Hankins before camp and Dante Fowler. That would that would make the Lions, you know, you know that would that would that would make that defensive line that much electric, man. And then Devin Kennard could put his hand in there. He could rush the pass. You can have, you know, you legitimately could have three or four pass rushers on this at the, on a fast twitchy pass rush at the, on the field at the same time with hand and and playing in, in the interior. Uh, Ansa on the outside. You know, Fowler on the other outside and Devin Kennard rushing from the linebacker position, that would be nasty, man. I hope somebody from the Lions organization can hear this video. That is worth a fourth or fifth round pick to spend on Dante Fowler. He seems to be healthy, especially if he checks out um, with, a, with a good clean of health with a physical, man. He's definitely worth it, man. That's electricity, man. And uh, that's something you can pick with Ziggy Johnson. They're they going to tear up the league, man. You know, Kirk Cousins, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Trubisky, they should be feared, especially with the back end that we got. That's worth the risk, man. Especially, I understand the Lions, they, they M.O. is not running right now. Preparing for the future. But Dante Fowler is, is somebody that can help you win now and in the future, man. And I think it's worth the risk, man. And I'm definitely still on the Jonathan Hankins bandwagon, too, as well. But um, this is your boy, CJ Goodfellow, Motor City Sports Talk. Most definitely thank everybody for subscribing. Continue to share the videos. And, and all, the, all, all the new Motor City Talk family, we appreciate you as well. We on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The information is in the description. As well, if I find out who did that article, I'll credit it in the description if I can find it once again. Um, thank you guys. Continue to share the videos, man, and continue to sub. And we moving, you know, one step at a time. And um, we can't get it all at once, but we're going to try to get it eventually. And a new era for the new media is, is here. Y'all know what it is. We're gone.